This is Kathleen, and this is my Alabama Farm Life. Welcome to my channel. All right, guys, I think it's safe to say that spring is here in West Central Alabama in Growing Zone 8A. We've all here on the farm been waiting for that last little bit of cold weather to pass and I think we are now safe. And um, the first thing that I want to do is I want to get some of my starts and seeds into the ground. So today we're going to be working on cleaning up this spot because this is the area that I'm going to be raising my survival seeds 2024. It always amazes me how quickly junk just accumulates, but I'm going to get this all cleaned up and we're going to get started on getting some seeds into the ground. Now, I've also been looking at this area. It needs a good cleanup because I'm thinking maybe I can grow some melons over here. Now, I've made the decision to grow all my survival seeds in containers. I'm going to use the seven gallon cloth containers. I've used them for other things and they do pretty well. So we're gonna see how well they do with my survival seeds. So I'm gonna start off by repotting my peppers. Now these peppers are called pepperoncini pepper. Now I have never grown the pepperoncini peppers. In fact, I don't think I've ever eaten them. Um, maybe accidentally on a pizza or a sub or, or maybe a sandwich or something. Um, apparently these are a lot like a banana pepper and uh, they're very good pickled from what I've been reading about them. So I'm kind of excited to uh, grow them and pickle them and uh, see how well we like them. Now I ended up with three peppers that came up and I've decided I'm going to go ahead and put two peppers in each each container. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plant the third one by itself and then I'm going to add some seeds and um, see if we can get a fourth one to come up from seed. The next thing I'm going to go ahead and plant is my kidney bean. Now I planted several seeds but only one came up. So one's good. And I also have a couple of seeds left. I think I have three. Yes, I have three seeds left. I'm going to plant this one bean in this pot and then the three seeds around it and we'll see how well they do. But I do have one and that's really all I need. All right, now it is time to up pot my tomatoes. I sprouted three of the Mariana Roma tomatoes and two of them look great. One I'm not so sure about. It looks different from the other two, but we're gonna go ahead and get them started. Now, this one is really leggy. I went ahead and gave it a little trim, and uh, now we're just gonna bury it as deep in this bucket as possible. Now, the second tomato wasn't as leggy, so I didn't bury it as deep, but um, I didn't really have to trim anything off of it. It looks really good. I think it's the best of the three, but we shall see how well it grows. And uh, so I have the two in their little containers now, and I'm gonna go ahead and add some alfalfa. This is from my rabbits. This is their alfalfa hay that ended up on the ground, and it also has some uh, rabbit manure in it too, just not a whole lot. I believe that adding a mulch to the top of these containers will help keep the soil moist and um, hopefully no weeds will grow, just the tomatoes. With those two done, I went ahead and, and grabbed the third one. It is the smallest of the three and it looks a little odd, but we're gonna go ahead and plant it anyway and see what happens. It may be, I mixed up seeds, I don't know, but we're gonna see. I 
was also able to get a butternut squash to sprout and it looks really good. It, there's a nice start to it. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in a container and get it started too. I'm also probably gonna plant a couple of more seeds, but I'm not gonna do that right now. All right, this is just gonna be the first part of my seed challenge or my survival seed challenge. Um, I still need to put my beets in and the onions and then I have all those herbs that I need to transfer. So I'm going to use the kitty pool for my herbs and I've run out of soil. So I need to get some more soil so I can fill up more bags and the kitty pool. So this is going to be it for this video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something or you were just entertained. You guys have a blessed and joyous day and I'll see you on my next video.